and welcome to another live edition of Trojan TV News. I'm Jordan Elder. And I'm Tim Cation. So, obviously, they didn't cancel school because here we are. Yeah, what a bummer. I know, but they did cancel a lot of other things, maybe even school tomorrow. Hopefully. I am praying for that. But here is your list of current cancellations. There will be no freshman girls or boys basketball practice or games tonight. No underclassmen will practice either, including cheerleading. Varsity teams will practice until 4, but there will be no off-season condi conditioning. The swim meet has been canceled, and so has debate practice and international club. The Gourmet Dance is set for Saturday, January 30th. If you are inviting a guest from another school, a permission form must be completed and submitted to the activities office before tickets can be purchased. Guests or Park Hill High School students must be enrolled in a high school so you cannot bring your middle school or girlfriend. However, if you have a college girlfriend, she can come, but she has to be less than 21 years old. Forms are available in the reception office or activities office and must be returned no later than 3 o'clock on Wednesday, January 27th. This year's theme for the semi-formal dance is Snowflake Fling. Court warming will definitely be fun, but so are clubs. And if you want to start bowling with the Park Hill Bowling Club, Meet on Thursdays in room 409 after school, where the bus will take you to Gladstone Bowl and then drop you back off at Park Hill around 5 o'clock. All you have to do is bring $3. We do want to congratulate the Bowling Trojans for their performance in the St. Joe Tournament on Sunday. The team of Jonathan Burns, Alex Nelson, Will Cody, Brett Nelson, and David Moore finished third, and the team of Davey Volker, Blake Lefevre, Brenna Lefevre, Chloe Arnold, and Helena Procopio-Ross placed fifth, so congratulations to them. They do have college bowling teams, fun fact. And speaking of college, all second term dual credit enrollment forms are due Friday, January 22nd. Maple Woods Community College will not accept any forms after this, so get them to Dr. Miller. We still have the makeup dual credit mean after school, directly after school. It will be over by 345 just in case the bad weather continues, and you'll definitely want to get your yearbook before then before we get snowed out of school today. To get yours, see the bookkeeper in the front office or go to yearbooksforever.com to get yours. The cost is $70. And coming up in just a second, Jordan Evans will have the weather for us. We found this site called Snow Day Calculator, and I don't know how reliable it is, but it said that we have a 27% chance of a snow day tomorrow and a 43% chance on Thursday, actually. Let's take it over to Jordan Evans to see if he agrees with this shady little internet site. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Jordan, that will be interesting because I definitely do not agree with that website. I think we'll probably be here tomorrow because the snow has just started. Right now it's 21 and cloudy. We've actually got some light snow outside right now. And that humidity's finally moved in because what's prevented the snow today is we've had up in the atmosphere about 4,000 feet as an area, area of dry air that's prevented that snow from falling earlier today. And you'll see that clearly on the Doppler radar right here. As you can see, we've got that area of dry air. And that's finally pushing off to our east, and we've got some snow starting to fill in. So that'll continue through the rest of the afternoon. We'll probably only get an inch out of this band today. So not as much as they predicted uh, this morning. And we've got more snow on the way in through the rest of the week. So let's look at that on the seven-day forecast. And tomorrow we're going to stay cloudy at 34 degrees. Thursday we've got 30 with a 50% chance of snow. Wednesday night into Thursday, probably only an inch. Probably won't be enough to cause a headache here at school. And then as we go into the weekend, the sunshine returns finally. And we go back up above freezing into the 40s. Back to you guys at the desk. And we have a surprise for you. We know we said dual credit was still on for tonight, but we have just received breaking news that it's canceled. And also canceled is after school tutoring. So if you were looking forward to that, we apologize. And the boys basketball tournament has also been called off. Yeah. It's very sad. That's all we have for you today. Happy birthday to Hannah Carlson, Taryn Heffer, Marcus McKee, Ethan Sloniker, and Noah Tyson. Student of the day is Izzy Wusso. Have a great evening, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Maybe. Hopefully not.